Good day, engineers. So, para sa video natin, we will be having the concept for the lateral earth pressure and this is for the Rankine sloping backfill. So, as you can see from our previous topic, which is the Rankine active, passive, and at rest. So, ang sinusolve lang natin doon is mga backfill na or yung sinusupport ng retaining wall doon is mga backfill na flat yung pinaka top or yung top soil so ibig sabihin pwede natin ito gamitan automatically nung run kind active passive or at rest considering cohesion for active and fa uh, passive condition and considering and uh, not considering cohesion for the at rest earth pressure then pwede din tayo ditong uh, maglagay ng iba't iba pang condition kagaya ng surcharge load and yung location ng ating water table So, yun yung uh, run kind active, passive, and the at rest condition. Ngayon, punta tayo dun sa sloping yung backfill. Sa sloping yung backfill, ibig sabihin nun, as you can see, yung topsoil natin is a sloping ground or a sloping na topsoil. And it has, a, uh, it has an angle from the horizontal which is equivalent to a value beta so dito ang consider lang natin muna for this topic is, is just the soil so walang ibang foundations na pwede nating ilagay on top of the soil pero uh, pwede naman siyang uh, consideran na lalagyan natin ng surcharge from top of soil pero iba nga lang yung way of solving compared to run kind active and passive for a horizontal backfill. So, dito sa topic na ito, ko consider lang natin is yung mismong soil. So, dahil nga meron na tayong angle na beta coming from the horizontal and for this one, sloping nga yung backfill niya or yung top soil naka-slope. So, ang magbabago For our formula is the active earth coefficient and the passive earth coefficient. As you can see here, this is the equations for the pressure coefficient or the respective pressure coefficient for the active earth pressure and the passive earth pressure. So, sa active earth pressure, meron tayo dyang cosine of beta times cosine beta minus square root ng cosine squared beta minus cosine squared of phi divided by cosine of beta plus square root ng cosine squared beta minus cosine squared of phi. Then for the passive earth pressure, so parang binaliktad lang, that is cosine of beta multiplied by cosine of beta plus square root of cosine squared beta minus cosine squared of phi divided by cosine of beta minus cosine squared of beta minus cosine squared of phi. So, to prove that this will be the same equations as dun sa Rankine active and passive, so dito nagkaroon lang ng angle beta considering the slope of our backfill from the horizontal so let's set the value beta equivalent to zero so <coughs> solve natin using or solve natin yung active earth coefficient so ka is equal to a value cosine of zero times cosine of zero minus square root ng cosine squared 0 minus cosine squared of phi divided by cosine of 0 
plus square root ng cosine squared ng 0 minus cosine squared of phi. So, cosine 0 is equivalent to a value 1. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayo diyang Ka is now equivalent to 1 times 1 minus square root ng 1 minus cosine squared ng phi divided by 1 plus square root ng 1 minus cosine squared of phi. So as you can see, meron tayong trigonometric identity dito na pwede nating sabihin that 1 minus cosine squared of phi is equal to a value sine squared of phi. So we substitute this one to our earth pressure coefficient na equation. So that will be Ka is equal to so yung 1 doon, tanggalin na natin kasi that is 1 multiplied by a number is the number itself. So ang matitira na lang that is 1 minus square root ng sine squared ng phi divided by 1 plus square root ng sine squared over phi. So as you can see, we can have the square root of sine squared of phi equivalent to a value sine of phi. So it simply means that Ka is now equivalent to a value 1 minus sine of phi over 1 plus sine of phi. As you can see, napalabas natin yung equation ng active earth coefficient for a horizontal backfill since we set the beta equivalent to 0. Kasi pag flat surface na kagaya nito, wala tayong beta. That is 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung equation natin for the active earth pressure and the passive earth pressure for a sloping backfill is proven correct kasi nga, Pag sinubstitute mo yung value ng beta dyan na equivalent sa 0, ang mapapalabas natin is yung original equation for the active earth coefficient. Same as with the passive earth coefficient. As you can see, halos parehas lang naman sila nung active earth coefficient, binaliktad lang yung plus at minus sign. So, yun yung equation for the active and passive earth coefficient. Ngayon, paano naman dun sa part ng solving natin ng earth force? So, dito, ang mangyayari is, as you can see, pag kumuha tayo ng soil element dun sa mismo ah, soil natin, as you can see, yung element is nag-incline din at an angle beta. So, ibig sabihin, merong part din doon na yung lateral at yung vertical stress natin is may angle na beta from the original vertical pressure or vertical force. So, kung i-convert natin yung, uh, syempre ang pressure diagram nito triangle kasi soil lang siya. So, kung kukunin natin yung pressure diagram as shown in this figure, you can see that the pressure diagram is tilting at an angle with a value beta. Then, pag kukunin natin yung lateral earth force sa kanya, syempre, yung lateral earth force which is corresponding to P sub A or the passive earth force which is P sub P. So, syempre, naka-incline din yun at an angle with a value beta. Ngayon, paano natin siya isosolve? Same procedure nung pag-solve natin ng pressure diagram for our
uh, for our active and passive condition under the horizontal backfill. So, syempre, sinosolve natin yun. So, let's say active force. Sinosolve natin yun by the area of our pressure diagram which is 1 half nung pressure A times the height which is H. So, ganun pa rin natin siya isolve. The difference is such that pwede tayong kumuha ng horizontal component of the force and the vertical component of the force. Kasi dito, as you can see, na-consider na natin sa earth coefficient pa lang niya yung angle na beta. So, meron na siya kasing angle na beta sa earth coefficient niya. So, pag kukuha tayo ng earth coefficient niyan, same procedure eh. That is P sub A is equal to A value gamma H times Ka. So, which is on the part of the active earth or the passive earth coefficient na consider na yung angle na beta. So, ibig sabihin, isosolve lang natin siya na parehas na parehas nung pressure diagram on an upright position. The difference is such that for this diagram, we have the horizontal and vertical component. So, syempre, for the horizontal and vertical component nung active or passive force, so let's say, meron ka dyan, FAH is equal to A value. Uh, syempre, this is the horizontal. So, as you can see, eto siya. So, this is the FAH. Tapos, yung vertical is pag anun, which is FAV. So, FAH will be coming from A value that is so adjacent kasi siya nung beta natin. So, that is that is cos, uh, that is coming from the value of our cosine of phi or cosine of beta. So, that is A value FA F A cosine of beta. So, yan yun. Then, F A V will be equivalent to a value F A sine of beta. So, meron kasi dyan yung vertical force nya, which is eto nga. And that is opposite of the angle beta. So, that will correspond to a value uh, sin beta so that will be f of a is equal to sin of beta so that will be all for the concept ng Rankine sloping backfill so more uh, more on kakabisaduhin natin yung equation for the active earth coefficient and passive earth coefficient para dito sa sloping backfill na to so kasi prepared na sa atin or prepared na dito yung active earth pressure coefficient and the passive earth pressure coefficient. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.